Hey guys, it's Jamie. And I'm Amanda. And we're with Siouxland Libraries. And today we're doing a Kids Discover about physics. Yes. But I don't know anything from there. What do we got here? <laughs> well, I've got a special trick for you. And okay. all we need are these few supplies. I've got, I call this my force board. All right. It's just a piece of wood. It's got some paracord and then some like anti-slip mm. right there. Okay. Yeah. And then I've got a glass jar. Okay. Right. And I, I have some water. You have some water. All so. Right. What we're gonna do is, I'm going to take my force board, I'm gonna put this in the middle of it. Sure. You're gonna pour the water in. Okay. And then I'm gonna spin this over my head. Like upside down. Upside down. What do you think's gonna happen? Uh, you want my hypothesis here. I'm, yeah. I'm thinking water everywhere. I mean, that's, that is a great guess. Yep, yep, pretty um, messy. Yeah, should we try it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put this here, I'll hold the board so it's right. easy for you to pour. You just let me know how much water you want in here. You can just do the whole guy. Oh, the whole well, thing? Well, actually, that's good. Okay. We're good to go. We're good to go. I'm going to move. I was I just going to say, if you want to maybe step aside, because right. we want to make sure that nothing is in the way of your path when you're spinning, right? Okay. Because you got to be safe. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do this. All right. And so you think when I spin this, water's going to fall on me, right? <laughs> yes. All right. Should we try? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Here we go. What? No it's... water. <gasps> that is so rad. Would you care for a drink? <laughs> Just kidding. We don't drink science. Okay. That so, was so cool. What happened? I don't, yes. I don't get it. I mean, normally when things go up, yeah, yeah. they come back down, right? Absolutely. Because of? Well, gravity. Gravity pulls things down, right? Yeah. Well, when I'm spinning this board okay. above my head in a really big circle, uh -huh. I'm introducing a brand new force. Right. And I'm introducing centripetal force. Centripetal. Centripetal force. Okay. And as I spin it in a circle, as long as I'm spinning fast enough, the force that I create when I'm spinning okay. equals the force of gravity pulling things down. So they cancel each other out. That's crazy. Isn't that wild? It totally works though. It, it totally worked. I'm, th you know, I'm kind of envisioning like a roller coaster right now. Like the, that's how they do like those loops and stuff. Is that yeah. how that works? Well, I mean, they're also secured in there. Right. But, <laughs> but I'm just yes. saying like, it definitely helps. It's like that, that yes. sort of idea. That was super cool. It was. So do you mind holding this? Okay. And I'm going to take this. All right. Because I want to show you, you know, if we aren't spinning fast enough, right? Like you're not pushing. We don't it. introduce that really fast force that then cancels out our gravity. Okay. Then if I just kind of spin it a little bit. Right. That's exactly what I expected yeah, to happen. Eventually gravity will take over right. and we'll pull things off our force board um, and it'll win. Okay. Yeah. So with that concept in mind, I have a really rad painting idea. Yeah? Yeah. You want to see it? Let's do it. Cool. So we are going to do some pendulum painting today. Nice. And it is going to involve gravity like we were talking about before, okay. but we are not going to go all the way around with this one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to let gravity actually apply some force here. So what we're going to do, we just need a pot bottle, Okay. any 20 ounce bottle. Um, and what I did is I used an X-Acto knife. You could use a screw, um, but if you use this, I would certainly get an adult to do it. Um, and you're going to want to put like a really clean hole in the top of your bottle. Okay. Okay. And then I also cut off the bottom here because this is where we're going to put our paint into. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so instead of a paintbrush, mm, we're using this pop bottle. This is going to be our tool today for sure. Awesome. All right. So, and then when you're going to do, we have this off, we're going to punch a couple holes. Okay. We're going to do three and then we're gonna tie some string to that. So I'm just gonna pop those in really quick. And you kinda of wanna make sure they're about as even at least on the way down as you can. So it's almost like you're making a triangle. Yeah, we're trying so to make a triangle here. So where the points are, yep. that's where your holes are gonna be? Exactly. Okay. So we've got those, and if you don't have a paper punch, I guess you could use your, your yep. screw again if you'd like. And once we do that, okay. then we have if you've noticed, a dowel here. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna tie string to the top of this. Okay. Which you'll see in a little bit. I'm gonna put the strings attached to this bottle and it's gonna hang from here. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. And the really important part is you want to make sure those strings are all the same length because it's going to be very important to how it moves. The other piece that you need to have is, of course, going to be our paint. Sure. So we are going to use acrylic today, um, but that doesn't come out. So, you know, be aware of that. And then we're going to put some paint in here. And actually, you can go ahead and go and put some paint in there. Yeah. And we're going to need a fair amount, like a pretty large amount. A good amount of paint? Yep. And at home, when you're doing this, it's really about trying to find a consistency that works, that flows really well. And as we kind of work through this, we might have to try a few different times. That's good. Okay. And I think to really get it to smoothly come out of the bottle, we're going to add a little water. Oh, sure. So I would first start with just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and pour that in there. That's probably good. And then we've just got a chopstick or whatever you have to uh, stir the paint. And you want to make sure that's really, really smooth. And then you're going to want to put some tape or your finger over the hole sure. so the paint is leak out. But we're going to pour it in there, attach our strings, and we'll show you our, our setup and exactly how this is going to work. I'm excited. Yeah, it's going to be great. <laughs> nice. All right, so we've got our pendulum painting set up. Yeah, can you explain this to me? Because it is a little intense. Yeah. <laughs> so what you're going to want is like two chairs or okay. any, any surface that's going to be completely flat. You know, you oh, for like your dowel. Yeah, so okay. these are the same height, so you know it's going to be a good platform. Okay. So we've got our dowel. We tied three strings here. Sure. And now we've got three strings into our cut or our cut pop bottle. And you want to get that as close to the paper as you can. Okay. Uh, but you don't want it to touch. Sure. And if you notice, we added some weight to yeah. our bottle. And that's just really to keep it swinging longer. Oh, okay. So gravity is completely our tool here. <laughs> it is our friend and it's going to help us paint. Nice. I'm excited. So essentially what we're going to do, put paint in here. We're going to take our tape off and then we're going to let it go and just kind of see what pattern it makes. Ooh, this will be really cool. Yeah. You ready to give it a try? Let's do it. Awesome. That is so cool. It's like a spirograph. It is like a spirograph. So you can see like it's straight up similar pattern and then it's going to keep going like that until gravity pretty much gets it to a centered spot. Sure. And this is why we have a plate. Yeah. So you want to have that ready to go. And once it kind of gets to a spot where you want to stop, just slip that plate right underneath there. Should I try and get it? Try and get it. I'd wait till it's at its highest point. Yep, over here by me. Yep. Awesome. Oh, that turned out oh. so good. Definitely try that at home because it is super fun. And if you wait and let it dry, then you can add more color to it. And so I love this setup. Yeah. But as always, I think we could take this to another level. <laughs> of course you do. Let's You're, try it. Let's yeah? Try it. yeah. All right, let's do it. So we're, this is us taking it to the next level. Yes. So we attached it to the ceiling. Yep. Created a bigger canvas because it's going to have a wider swing. Yes. And we're going to see what happens here. Let's do it. All right. So go ahead and pour some paint in. OK. I've still got tape on this bottle. Sure. And we'll just give it a shot. I can't wait to see what this looks like. See what happens here. All right. So I'm going to take the tape off. And then I'm going to cover that with my hand. OK. All right, here we go. I'd back up, Jamie. I don't want you to get paints on yourself. <laughs> oh, so good. It is so good. That is so cool. Well, and what I love about this is it's just like a giant spirograph. Right. It's beautiful. It turns out really neat. Yeah, can you imagine if you layered different colors in your wat like in your, your pot bottle? Right. So you had like red, yellow, green stacked on top of each other. How cool that would look. Super cool. 
And the more weight you add to it, really, the kind of the, it will go longer. Yeah. Um, so if you've got a lot of room, this would be a really cool experiment, like I said, to do this on such a big scale. Like in your garage. In your garage would be perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us today. And uh, we'll see you next time on Kids Discover. Bye. Bye.